back in November, we put together this 900cc Ducati race cart for a show on the Velocity channel, which is a channel on cable TV. We told you when springtime came around, we would bring it back and uh, work on it and show you guys what it is and ride it around. That's what we're doing today. We were really crunched for time on that project. Uh, so there are some things that we rushed and we want to come back and fix. Some sketchy stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Totally uncomfortable, scared out of your wits. I mean, maybe the biggest smile on my face was just... Hitting the brakes? Getting, no, just getting on it for the first time oh. before hitting the gas. Yeah. And then I pooped my pants. Yeah. Yeah. I'm guessing it's about a 95, 96 Ducati Super Sport. 900 cc's it's got 70 horsepower and uh this was a really good engine to pick for this go-kart because the packaging deal it's a twin cylinder it's only was it two or three inches wider than a stock uh predator with a clutch on it yeah yeah that's that's what we figured out it was just sitting underneath the counter at work not even on a motorcycle a buddy of mine bought it uh, for the heads off of it because those that's a super sport engine which means it has the special heads on it and he wanted to put it on his Ducati motorcycle never used it sat underneath the table for like 10 years in a crate and then we came along and borrowed it liberated it because the engine is that much bigger we had to add a couple extra braces on here uh, this is a Margay chassis stamped right there um, but yeah we added these extra frame pieces for support and then we also like turn the engine into a truss by adding these extra uh, motor mounts and we didn't bother on that one because it's only making 16 horsepower um anyway i think that's enough talk let's get a battery on this thing um get a fuel tank on it fire it up make our ears bleed okay is the clutch still working i think so oh i heard the clutch yeah Oh yeah, I also like to point out that the uh, clutch on this thing is a dry clutch. So, uh, when you uh, pull, pull in on the clutch. So when it, it's a, it's a classic clank sound that Ducatis make. So for a fuel tank, we don't have one of those, we don't have a new spun aluminum one, but we do have that one off the rail from Go Power Sports. So we're probably gonna rob it. And the rail is kinda, dead right now anyway my fault so we got the old fuel tank off of the rail realized we do not have any fuel line so we need to run out and grab some uh, i think it'd be a good idea for us to just grab like way more than we need Sounds good. that's kind of been our strategy like whenever we buy something like a consumable we try to buy like six of them just for the future we don't have to run out and get them but it it hasn't really paid off yet <laughs> we're running out of room and we still have to run out all the time for stuff. If the weather was nicer, we'd be taking the hogs, the Honda 70s, but it's not good. So we're just gonna teleport. See y'all there. Where the hose at? <laughs> I got the hose right here, man. Okay, good, right. good. Uh, off to Waffle House for some lunch, then back home. Check it out, guys. Front page of the local paper. Your boys are going places. Uh, we just got a trying to publicize the Velocity Show. My favorite part probably has to be, for John and Isaac, this enjoyable venture started with an old BMW pickup truck. You mean that BMW pickup truck? Yeah, I mean, he means that pickup truck, but I had an old BMW that was always broken, uh, and that's why Ike and I became friends, but I just thought it was funny. <laughs> Close enough. Thank you. Yes, sir. Do the holes match up perfectly? Not quite. Pretty close. Pretty that's that's close. gonna be the that's gonna be the tank that was on this thing. Call on it there. All right. That's it. All right. Battery's hooked up. What you got, dude? Oh, that's ignition. I don't think it's picked up yet. Nope. It doesn't sound like it. It has been a few months. Come maybe, on. Maybe blow through it. Clear! <laughs> Clear. Picking up. Oh, there it goes. And then choke and start a button.
All right, dude. You ready? Yeah, just, you know, nice and easy, you know. No need to die today. Mufflers like stack. <laughs> That's that pretty is freaking so cool. So loud, dude. Yeah. That's pretty freaking cool, though. <laughs> and the tires are actually like pretty sticky now that they have some heat in them. Yeah. I'm leaving some black marks on oh, them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The biggest thing we wanted to do that we couldn't pull off in time for the episode was put a foot clutch on it. Ideally, we would have paddle shifters as well. That's going to be something we're going to look into. We might need to order some parts. But um, you know, ideally we need both hands on the steering wheel at all times because it's got a stupid amount of power and, uh, yeah, just for safety purposes. Well, uh, we have this, uh, hydraulic brake set up from Go Power Sports. Yep. Do they sell these? Oh yeah. I think they're for like 150s, like the bigger kind of go-kart UTVs. It's awesome. For like Puggly or something. Yep. I'm going to try to use the uh, hydraulic foot piece and use this hydraulic line to go to our hydraulic clutch slave. Okay. There we go. Our clutch slave cylinder. That's what it is, a clutch slave cylinder. And uh, I don't know what piston size is inside of this or what's inside of this one but the housings are like the same thickness. So I'm hoping the piston size is the same. Cause if it's not, we can run into an issue. So you're gonna mount it like there? I'm thinking I would mount it somewhere like right here. Okay. And then our pedal is gonna kick that and push in? Yep. Okay. And then hopefully, like I said, hopefully this line is long enough and it is, look, boom. Sweet. Good enough. Get it, buddy. Hey, oh, that's yeah, pretty good. That's pretty good. So a nice C there. Yep. Or a J. Gas, yeah. clutch, brake. You definitely need to take off at least an inch there. Doing, dude. Clenching. Clenching? That too. Ah! You gonna re-weld? Hot? It's a little warm. Okay. So in order to make the linkage work, here's what I'm thinking. Just kind of weld those nuts right there. And then you see that end piece right there sticking out really far? Well, weld some kind of tab onto it so we can uh, connect it to the existing brake linkage. So when you do that, it pulls the brake lever forward. That's yep. gonna be our stopping power. We're gonna probably have to weld a nut over here too. Okay, just to be safe. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Cover. Yeah. That's about it, isn't it? That's about it. Right there. 
Here we go. Yep. Ah! Watch them gloves. They're gonna get hot. In the face, sir. Yep. No, you didn't. Okay. Yeah, you did, didn't you? So I'm going to let that cool off and I'm going to go ahead and run the cable and stuff and then we're going to find out if it works. If it works. Uh, I'm ready to uh, try to attach this hydraulic line to the slave cylinder. And I'm going to have to run it underneath the seat which means I'm going to be uh, making a mess. I'll just make a mess over this seat. Wipe it up, it'll be all shiny. There we go. Looks like a brand new seat. I'm trying to make it kind of nice and neat, you know? Yeah. Okay, but the, the hydraulic line will work. However, the, the master cylinder, I don't know if it has the power to operate the clutch. It works. One of the nights we were out at the drag strip testing this thing, we were gonna try to make our top speed attempt. Uh, we had the clutch basket eject out of the side of the engine. I don't remember why it did. Well, there was yeah, there was a, a nut that wasn't. Nut that wasn't tight. Yep. Uh, I, we knew nothing about this engine. It was in a crate for 10 years. And first thing we noticed was the basket ejected out of the side of the... And the head bolts weren't tight. And the head bolts weren't tight. We noticed that it started, when we were fixing the uh, clutch basket, I noticed all this oil all over the place. Then I went to go tighten up head bolts, thinking that, well, I'll just kind of tighten them up and hopefully the leak will go away. They weren't even tight. Like they were tight. finger tight. Yeah. And we'd run them at, we run it at the drag strip. Yeah, the way it was. The way it was, so. I'm surprised we didn't blow a head gasket. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's like someone began taking this engine apart and then they just said, forget about it. There's like an inch, maybe an inch and a half of throw in the clutch. So if you go from that is what disengaged, that's engaged, like an inch of throw. So you know how like in a stick shift car, there's what, at least like four or five, maybe six inches or more of throw. <laughs> there's like, yeah, depending on the car. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's a ton of, there's of a lot more, intermediate a lot of between uh, engaged and disengaged. Here, there's only an inch, so that means uh, it's going to want to engage really fast, so you're either going to do a burnout or uh, you're going to stall the engine. Cover. Yep. Put a little uh, spots on it right there, some tumors to keep the uh, break from moving. Break from moving. That time. Yeah. Probably good, bud. Probably. So Ike's going on a quick little ride in the driveway. Driving. Yeah, it's kind of late. We just want to test the brakes. Trying to get it in neutral. Yeah, the clutch is a little, a little fast. A little fast, but yeah. I can live with it. Yeah. Okay. If you use your heel or your arch of your foot, it's fine. If you use your, it's too fast. So if you use that. Okay. That's good. Um, yeah, it didn't look awful. Now the brakes, on the other hand... Are the brakes that bad? Yeah. So we need to revisit them, probably. Yep. 
Today we introduced you to our 900cc Ducati cart, formally. Uh, and we put a foot clutch on it, which is something we've been meaning to do for a while. Uh, you like it better already? I like the hand foot clutch? clutch. Yes, way better than the hand clutch. Good. Yeah. So we also tried to, we had to move our brakes when we did the clutch, as you saw, and uh, need to revisit those because they're spongy and they don't work very well, I'm assuming. I mean, I didn't ride it. Uh, yeah, they're, they don't work well at all. It'll stop, but if I'm doing 100 plus miles per hour, Hit that like button if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are not already and press the little bell next to the subscribe button for notifications. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews. Check me out at Isaac, it'll be fine. We gotta thank our sponsor, GoPowerSports.com for the nice fuel tank, for the battery, for some other bits and pieces. Let us know what you think of the monster now that you've finally seen it and have a, yeah, seen it ride and smoke the tires. We might, let's just roll that clip one more time just because it's awesome thanks for watching we'll see you wednesday